Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Nameless, the one thing you must recall. As always, I am joined by Coco. Say hello. Hello everyone. And in the last episode, I believe we had started Tay's route at last. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and so far, uh, the number one thing I remember is that it was very different from the others, and Tay was definitely giving us some weird vibes. Yeah. But that's not surprising because we already were suspicious of him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a beautiful sight to start out with. Right? <laughs> if you want a more detailed explanation, I will give it to you. <laughs> to be honest, it is not a complicated incident. That guy left the room saying he has to go to the bathroom, came back. And suddenly came to my side of the bed to attack me. I've only counter-attacked. Ah yes, we're speaking about why you and Red had a, f a fight or something. <laughs> <laughs> a a lo lover's, lover's quarrel. quarrel. Oh my god! We said the same thing! <laughs> yes! Girlfriends think alike! <laughs> yes. Hey, wait! When have I ever attacked you? I told you I wasn't fully awake and went to the wrong side, but you beat me up without listening to what I had to say. You're the one who attacked me, you. I explained, but you kept on hitting me. Red stood up and fumed as he shook his finger at Lance. The way he was getting angry, he was such a child. On the other hand, Lance maintained his cold attitude. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that positioning. <laughs> <laughs> You should be thankful I stopped quickly. When I saw your head on my chest, I wanted to twist your neck. Ooh, that's a little violent there. <laughs> <laughs> Commander, he's too cruel. He's supposed to pat my head and cuddle with me. Aww. <laughs> Food got stuck in my throat at Lance's creepy words. Yeah, Lance, I hope you're not into, like, necrophilia or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would make me think differently of him. Very differently. You would uh, lose your position as best boy. <laughs> right? Oh, Master, I'll get you water. Yunho took an empty cup and ran to get water. And soon, he carefully ran back again, so not to spill the full cup. Here it is. Okay, thank you. I stopped coughing after I drank the water Yonho handed me. As I rubbed my forehead, Yonho smiled. He was so cute. I stroked his hair. Girl, just be glad we're not in his route anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you always smile, Yonho. Uh, <laughs> 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 
do I? <laughs> That's probably because I like you a lot. He seemed to get embarrassed at what he said and fidgeted with his arms. Even his embarrassed face was so adorable. My honey's not hitting on some other man, are you? I was smiling with Yonho and being happy when Yuri suddenly cut in. That bastard. <laughs> yep. He got ready for work and came into the kitchen wearing a clean suit. Oh, hey bastard. Uh, I mean Yuri. <laughs> Good young girl. Pat Pat. <laughs> hey kiddo, I never th thought you'd touch my honey. Eh? Since when does Yonho say stab it the same way I do? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, y Yuri, stop it! Yuri pinched Yonho's cheeks and pulled at them. His soft skin stretched like mochi. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a funny sight. <laughs> Yuri was having fun. Why don't you stop messing around and sit down? You came last. Why are you so relaxed? Tay scolded Yuri for playing around. I guess mom's nagging will never change. You'll get old really fast like that. If you know, please help me stop nagging. If I die fast, it'll be all your fault. <laughs> oh, Yuri gonna kill him. What was that flash? That, yeah, that was weird. Hey, don't blame me for you getting old. I'm wondering if it was just a glitch or they did that on purpose. I feel it, it was probably on purpose. Maybe it was just like to show the tension between them. Hmm, maybe. You know, like sometimes how anime do, they do those like close up of. Kind of like an Ace Attorney, you know, when they have like the start of the testimonies and they have the close up of the eyes. <laughs> With the swing sound. Yep. <laughs> You must really crave junk food today. I won't stop you. Of course, it will be bad for your skin. Tay threatened to take away Yuri's food if he didn't stop his gibberish. So he's basically the opposite of me today. <laughs> <laughs> that I could have had healthy, but I was like, no! Crave deliciousness. Yes. Yuri couldn't resist anymore and quietly sat as, at his seat. And he made a sullen face and grumbled. <laughs> Whipped. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, very long, mm. you say? <laughs> <laughs> you must have been a serpent in your past life. A very. Long serpent. <laughs> See, he's taking that as a compliment. <laughs> what a nice thing to say. It's good to know that you uh, are cognizant of my superiority. <laughs> Serpents did influence humanity. You 
you're not going to give up, are you? Fine. Whatever. I don't want to deal with you. Tay never gave in to Yuri's complaining. Tay must be pretty smart to return all of his insults. Nah, he's just shady. Yuri, you will never beat Tay. Ooh, savage. Wait, wait. That's not it, darling. They say you have to avoid the nasty things, and he is nasty. Ooh. You would know. <laughs> Tay immediately glared at Yuri. You know, careless words usually lead to tragedies. The world would be such a peaceful place if people could just keep their mouth shut. Yuri was about to add something more, but quickly stopped at what Tay said. That was the borderline- that was the actual threat right there. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was like seeing red from just a moment ago. <laughs> that devil. Yuri grumbled. Yuri's arch enemy must be Tay. I should take note of that now. Is she smiling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think she likes seeing this battle. That's kind of bad. <laughs> My honey, I told you that's not it. It's not that I can't beat him. I, I, I just can't be bothered. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yuri looked unsatisfied at my playful answer. Tay shrugged his shoulders to see us. That doesn't make sense, but okay. Yeah, I'm like, can you shrug with anything else? <laughs> I think Yuri's arch enemy is actually the owner. He always listens to you. That's because Darling is special. She's been chosen by the Goddess of Beauty, like me. But I can see that Darling is special to you, too. Just look at all the plates around her. That's right. She is special. Very special. Tay answered while looking at me. His voice was low as if he was chanting or talking to himself. Then suddenly, he reached towards the napkin beside him. Here. Tay handed me a napkin and pointed at my mouth. There's something on my mouth. Just a little. It's gone now. I'm glad he didn't do the cliche thing of like rubbing it off with his own hand or something. Yeah. Or like even just using the napkin and treating her like she can't do it herself. Right. Okay. Thanks. Tay smiled again. 
I even forgot to hide my embarrassment at his smile and just smiled back. Oh. What was that? I felt someone staring at me. Uh, red? Why? Something got on my face again. Red had his mouth closed tight and stared at me for a while before spot finally speaking. You know. Hmm? Red suddenly leaned close and stuck out his head towards me. Uh, what? What? Hmm. I think you act differently in front of the commander. Me? Red even folded his arms and talked as if he just made a huge discovery. Yeah, you smile more when the commander talks. Say weird things, Red. Must be obvious if he noticed. Yep. You really do. When you talk to us, you're more, um, what is that word? Hairless? Hairless. <laughs> <laughs> you mean careless. Ugh, don't show off. Hmm. I'll just ignore what he said. Anyways, you. You like the commander, right? Whoa, going right for the throat. <laughs> right? <laughs> no! As Red suddenly pointed at me, I felt flustered. What does he mean, like? Of course I do. Of course, I do get butterfly when Tay's being nice to me. It's all a trap, girl. My face turned red and I glimpsed at Tay. At that moment, I caught eyes with him. He must have been looking at me all along. Uh, I couldn't help but avoid his gaze. What if he feels insulted? Red's making me care about useless things. I felt embarrassed and pretended to do something else. But my face didn't cool down easily. Guys, stop playing around. If we don't get ready to leave now, we'll all be late. Tay cleared up the awkward atmosphere. Come to think of it, we really don't have much time. Yeah, let's eat first. Eat? Uh-huh. I heard a familiar ringtone. Is it my phone? As I put my hand in my pocket, I felt something hard. <laughs> Girl? <Ooh. laughs> I actually was laughing because I saw you hover over my status. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was about to comment on that and then you read that line. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Coco. <laughs> hmm. I know what you mean, but other people will think something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> hey audience, so my status right now is dating a Yantara? Interpret that as you will. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, just so you know, she's talking about Tay, okay? <laughs> not of course, me. of course. Mm-hmm, sure. Clearly mm. not me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she felt something hard. Ooh, fun. <laughs> I took it out. Huh? Master, why are you crying? Master, what's wrong? No, it's just... Um... Whose is this? What? There was a smartphone in my hand. And it was the latest model I saw on a TV commercial recently. Okay, so that's different. Normally they have a huge discussion argument with Yuri about the whole smartphone thing. Yeah, but like, remember in the last one there was a lot of things going on where it felt like time had passed or we were in a, uh, a further time period than it usually starts. And right. like there was something missing pages from her diary. Mm hmm So... It it feels like she's missing memories. Yeah. It's really concerning. Huh. It was all shiny. Definitely a new phone. Everyone looked confused at my question. I found this in my pocket just now. They looked more confused at what I said. What are you talking about? Didn't Yuri get you that phone? You're right. So she forgot. It hasn't been long since you bickered about not taking it. You haven't become stupid like him, have you? One idiot is enough for this house. Are you really gonna keep picking on me? Ugh. Anyways. Red started fuming, but soon turned his head to look at me. That's yours. You got a new model, just like the one I have. Don't you remember? Here, look at this. Red took out his smartphone from his pocket. Uh, what? You have one too? How? There was a new smartphone in Red's hand. It's definitely the same model. Yuri looked worried at my confused face. Hmm. Darling, you're not sick, are you? Yuri reached out his hand and felt my forehead. Hmm. You don't have a fever. 
did you bump your head somewhere recently? You might have during your sleep. Do you have bruises anywhere? You know, I'm starting to wonder, because the next route after this is the final route, which is, um, red. What if, in that one, her memories are, like, completely gone? Oh, that'd be creepy. Yeah. That, that'd be... Hmm. And that might explain the title? Nameless, the one thing you must recall. Oh, yeah, that would. Interesting. I'm excited okay, for that, okay. actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? I shook off Yuri's hand and asked everyone. They looked just as flustered as I did. Master, you really don't remember? Yuri got smartphones for all of us. You told Yuri to get phones for everyone else if he was going to get one for you. So he bought one for all of us. You don't remember? Yonho looked worried. Actually, he wasn't the only one. Everyone looked worried. Yuri bought them all for- Yuri bought them for all of us? Last time, Yuri... Me... Everyone else? I was trying to remember, but everything was blurry. I felt frustrated. I was frowning at the frustration when Tay came over and put his hand on my shoulder. You had a nightmare this morning. Will you be okay? Do you want to rest today? Lance or Yonho can just tell the teachers at the academy. I came back to my senses at Tay's warm touch. I felt bad for worrying everyone. No, I'll just go to school. I said in a firm voice. I'll be more confused if I stay at home by myself when my memory is all blurry like this for no reason. Besides, I don't want to stay at home by myself. I gently put Tay's hand down and forced a smile. It's not that I don't remember at all, uh, honestly. <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember clearly, but... But everyone seems to worry. I felt I should relax everyone first, even if I had to lie. I smiled and lied to everyone. But Tay still looked worried. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't know how to lie convincingly. <laughs> Lance let out a sigh. I think no one believes me right now. <laughs> Taiso se seemed to be anxious about me. I purposefully avoided his gaze. There were too many surprises recently. My brain must just be tired. My dolls turned into humans, and now I'm going to the academy with them. 
It is true, I was really preoccupied lately. I ignored their looks and focused on my meal. Okay. I think that's a good place to leave it. Wow. Her forgetting things is a little worrisome. Very scary. Yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Ta-ta!